So this is the final part, I believe. And if it isn't... Now, yay! <laughs> now, why is that not yellow? All the others were yellow. Did you notice? Oh, don't be yeah. so pedantic. No, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's deeply significant. Yes. What it's, does it mean, then? Um, something to do with chroma key, I think, because we chose yellow in those days, didn't we, for our chroma key shots? I thought it was blue. No, yellow. Was it yellow? Definitely. Uh, notice the next shot when you see yellow lines around people. It's something oh. to do with parking. It was the way the Nothing shots good. were mixed. Just get dressed and come with us, then I'll explain. Come on. You don't have to. So a fairly short reprise Choice. again. Again, you see, plenty lot. of script, yeah. plenty of story. But if you don't... There's not much actual um, telecine or outside filming on this storyline, no. is there? No. There's a bit with the caravan, and that's about They've it. They've spent all the money on the cast, I think, haven't mm. they? <laughs> The plaster cast, you mean? You could have fooled me. <laughs> oh, really? That That's true. What did you get? What did you get, Anne? What was your rate? I'm not tell I can't remember. I think mine was about £28 an episode, plus rehearsals. But what was uh, an average uh, yearly wage in those days, then? Just to put that in context. About 5000 Well, you did. I think... Well, I had to pay my school fees. Well, that's got nothing to do with uh, what you were paid as an artiste. You were paid. You were <laughs> oh, paid what you were worth. Twenty-eight pence. Twenty-eight <laughs> quid. <laughs> Ta -da! Ah, there he is. Here he comes. Here we are. Yes. You were my only hope. It's never quite explained how Tim got hold of him. Presumably, he I phoned had, him, did he? I think he had a week off Emmerdale. Yeah. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Is, is this where we go and see the Prime Minister? Is he going to see the Prime Minister in this one? He appears in the prime, back of the Prime Minister's car. Yeah. <laughs> He's nodding. You see, you can't see nods on radio. You've got to, you've got to say something. <laughs> you can't ruin the suspense. Press it against his wrist. Sure. Uh, right. So, in other words, the entire future of the series depended on him getting this bit right. Is that it? Is yeah. that what we're trying yeah. to say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's regretted it ever since. Actually, I'd work... I think I've already said this, but I worked with Chris, uh, funnily enough, as an army officer. John. In something called remote control before the Tomorrow People. Oh, really? Oh. Hmm. Well, if you have said it before, I've forgotten. Well, there you go. <laughs> yes, it's obviously so I was able to give a genuine <laughs> reaction there. And if you've never heard it before, buy the <coughs> previous DVDs. Exactly, yes. <laughs> available, which are available, available from uh, Big Con uh, Productions at um, £15 each. <laughs> Big Con, did you say? Big fish, <laughs> fish, sorry, fish. fish sorry. <laughs> Big fish. That's it. So finish, finish, finish. The producer sitting next to us. <laughs> yes. Seems to be burning his checkbook. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's right. <laughs> so what have we done with Anne's outfit now? Is it another combination oh, yes, of the same thing? It's a bit different, it's isn't it? different. A warmer colour now. If you're not holding out on this, why are you shutting Trisha out of your mind? Would you like someone delving in your... Well, you, you have to do that's a bit of pain acting in a minute, Anne. Um, like pain acting? Pain. Oh, yes. I'm very good at doing that. <laughs> Did you like somebody delving into your private um, thoughts? Here we you go. Mm. You won't like it, Anne. Oh. Oh, dear. Nice shot. Oh. Very pretty. <laughs> headache? Tense, nervous headache? <laughs> Try the neuro. I won't give the, the name, so I'm not paid. So what made you want to do uh, rooms rather than the Tomorrow People? Yeah, we've got... <laughs> oh, dear. What was rooms about? It was just about rooms in a house, a sort yes, of rented yes. out rooms. I was, I was the landlady. Oh. I was only joking. Oh, we're all oh, in our white sweaters oh, now. Oh, no. Yes. I... Thank God this wasn't shot on Hampstead Heath. <laughs> So they tell me, um, <laughs> allegedly. Uh, <laughs> so you told me, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> now he's lost his colour. He's gone pallid. Look, we're all. Why are we all white in this? I just said what colourful balls he'd got. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. And now we're back to black and white again. Why? It's just one of those things. Listen, Nick, you were up all night watching this. You must have a theory. <laughs> <laughs> My theory about. Tim's balls. Yes, yeah, about well the whole thing. Yes, Why well, are we now matching sweaters? What's all that about? No, I, that's strange because it's not quite matching. No, is it? no, it's not. You but, know, but, but which is even a, more annoying. But was I in a cream? Was I in a white sweater before? When I collapsed, was no, I in a white sweater? No, you weren't. No. So I sleep in my own clothes, never get out of my clothes to sleep. But I am ready to put a white sweater on when another bloke comes in in a white and sweater. And it's transparent. I can see your nipples. Well, after he revived you, mm. he took your clothes off. Yes. And then put me in a white sweater. You were a bit sweaty. Um, right. John doesn't and sweat, he just glows. <laughs> because you were a bit glowing. Mm. And, uh, and, and, glowing. and then he said, look, why don't we dress the same? Right, and, yeah. let's, take, and let's turn the colour down on Tim's balls. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's probably the reflection from your jumpers. There are tomorrow Ooh. people in China, Russia or anywhere else. How am I doing? <laughs> they won't help the military madmen. Those are totalitarian countries. They won't have any choice. Oh. Look, you want peace and so... You know, this was before uh, the present Russia, of course, when we're talking about the USSR here, aren't we? Yes, yes. Not the Cold War. It is now. Can't you see that your powers probably use? Who, who was Prime Minister, the real Prime Minister in 1974? Uh, Ted Heath. Heath. So Ted Heath. Mm. Yeah. 
Wow. The man we see in the car is a lot thinner than Ted Heath, mind you, so most people, but he was very thin. Although, I think, did La Labour got back in again at the end of 74? Was yeah, it 75? Yeah, Wilson. Was it, they, they, had they chopped and changed, didn't they? They, were... they had two elections within a couple of mm. years, didn't they? Yeah. Well, there'd been a few wars since Agincourt hadn't... Yes, a few governments came and went while we were making this programme. <laughs> You brought the government down. Yes. Well, it was the the big rationing, and uh, we all had three day week. rations. Yeah. Yes, the three day week. Thank oh, God for right, it. We all made yes. a lot of money out of that, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> out of all those striking what not? special judo trick, and you keep on using it the same way over and over again. He comes judo. up with his incredible plan now to contact the prime minister. <laughs> his hair's a little whiter now, isn't it? You don't have to come if you don't want to, Chris. I'm grateful for what you've done already. No, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Leave this to the tomorrow. Leave people. this to me. Leave this to people who know what they're doing. He is good, though, isn't he? Yeah. What, me? <laughs> Obviously, you know. Uh, you and, and the other chap. Well, we work well together. As I say, we had previous experience. Hmm. I had played with him before. That's a strange look you gave me there. Well, that's a theatrical expression. Now, I wonder what Chris Chattel would say about coming in and doing one of these. Have you asked him? <laughs> Have you, uh, yes. <laughs> who is this colonel's boss? Oh, I don't know. Some general, I suppose. And who's the general's boss? Seem to be of any help to you. They're all tarred with the it's same brush. long-winded uh, way of getting general. to the Tarred? Answer. Tarred with the brush? Look, Dodgy expression. Chris, it's leading to the Prime Minister. in the war, what's it? They call it the uh -huh. yes. Go to the Queen's, the answer, I would have thought. <laughs> Any yes, queens you around? You should have kidnapped the queen. Yes. And who's the head of parliament? Um, the queen. <laughs> you can't be serious. The prime minister? John's only just worked that out. Yeah. Yes, here we are. Oh, look. Well, that's genuine. They used to have those governmental... JUU570 was oh, the number of the prime minister. that an escort forever. behind him? That's Probably. got the coppers in it. Oh, him. Who's that? It's, that's um, the prime minister. Yes, but... Because <laughs> <laughs> they didn't recognise him. Oh, no, oh, there's my... your car. Oh, look. Yes, my beautiful car. That's the prime minister. Be careful with that gear change. This car's a valuable... Place. There's a lot of post-sinking going on here. Well, Nick are... one. Oh, dear. That's not there from a yank. <laughs> not really. You, I have to wonder why somebody as advanced thinking as John would want to go in an old heat like that. So is this actually your car? It's my car, yeah. yeah. Do you want to buy the number plate? Have you, you've still no. got the number plate, have you? <laughs> still got the car. You still know. Have <laughs> you really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Remember we did that thing a couple of years ago, we went yeah. driving around Teddington in it? That's right. Um, my car's just malfunctioned, so no, I can't get the range. It's an MGB TF 1500, wasn't it? Jaunting between two is down near impossible. They just reintroduced the name All this business is about jaunting between moving cars. Why didn't you just uh, stand on the pavement? <laughs> Every well-dressed prime minister's wearing these days. <laughs> no, fumble, fumble, fumble. Uh, um, <laughs> Still got the jacket as well. Cool, strike a light, Governor. <laughs> I've lost the gun. Yes. I've lost the Prime Minister. <laughs> Wouldn't that sort of cause a national crisis? You would have thought so. What, the Prime Minister disappearing? Yeah. Also, I think the Prime Minister would probably just go a bit mental if he was teleported, wouldn't he, really? Well, is that what you think's happened to Tony Blair? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's all very pertinent and relevant, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Prime Minister goes uh, mental, declares war, <laughs> SIS or SAS, helps with that. The next you could be, say, 5,000 miles away. Yes. I wonder if Saddam watches the Tomorrow People. I understand I believe, he was... Yeah. I understand, yes. And I, I, I've very actually visible. been to Baghdad, do you know that? I worked in Baghdad. Well, you're not serious. I am saying watches the Tomorrow People. Yes. Oh, so he bases his foreign <laughs> policy on... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> This is, this is where he got the idea about the secret weapon. It's, it's uh, what this one's called. Weapons of mass destruction. That's what it's called, isn't it? He knows where to hide the weapons. <laughs> In the top filing cabinet on the right there. Mm. In UFO books. How long does it take you to uh, jaunt from... If one? we just let you talk, it's quite disturbing what comes out. <laughs> <laughs> You're suggesting we're disturbed. As quick as that. As quick as that. I think no, now we're back in full colour again. This does not make sense. <laughs> it's a now, tomorrow, come on, people. I know. Yeah, you've been watching this for the last three years. What's, <laughs> do, do you know, what's going on? Funnily enough, it's not the first thing that <laughs> springs to, to my mind. attention. You know. I don't see colour. No. <laughs> right, have a seat, Prime Minister. Prime Minister. But, but why did you kidnap me? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was in the days when Prime Minister spoke proper English. Yes. Well-educated. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice jacket, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, um, well... No, but then they don't tell me much about the fence. <laughs> <laughs> this, nothing changes. <laughs> he sounds like he's had a morning oh. tipple, doesn't he? <laughs> he probably <laughs> was. <laughs> I mean, he's another... I'm afraid he's another ex-actor as well, isn't he? Is he? I mean, dead. Is he? Mm. Well, he was quite old so then, so yeah. the chances of him being alive now <laughs> yeah, are fairly slim, slim, aren't they? Yeah. I think they asked him to play the Rain Man, but he died too soon. <laughs> I must put a word into the right ear so that this Colonel... What about a word in the left ear? ...sit up and take notice. Can I go now? He's got big ears, isn't he? <laughs> but, but that's what happens, isn't it? That's the only bit of your body that continues growing. What, your ears? Your ears. Yeah. I thought it was the only bit that never changed. No, no, they, they get they bigger and bigger. bigger. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> are you sure you're not on Viagra? <laughs> you're sure you're sticking Viagra in your ear? <laughs> My dad's ears are enormous. That's what makes all sense. My mum's oh, on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a dramatic bit coming up. Right. He's got a stun gun there. Look. No, I want to carry on talking about ears. <laughs> <laughs> now, you look at older people. They've got big ears. Yep. <laughs> well, not his power. That's why they can fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to say we have not been drinking. No, it's a morning still. <laughs> Telephone Boy, number for you to ring. What was that drug? Pass the yard arm, though. What was that drug came or what? <laughs> He's got his phone number. He's giving him his phone number. <laughs> Mm. On a very special card. It's rather nice, isn't it? Is it? Whitehall 1234. <laughs> it's a special kidnap number. I'm sure, it's not a sex line. It's a Prime Minister kidnap line. Mm. Oh. Bring up the Prime Minister and hear him talk dirty. You said you could jaunt as far as Moscow and back. I won't spy for Well, only as far as Moscow and back. Nothing could be further from my thoughts. However, you have agreed. Can you believe that you actually go on location to Moscow? <laughs> 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 no. Do you remember that bit? Yeah, they took Elizabeth off to Moscow Did they? for a week. Yeah. Oh, look. I'm joking. <gasps> oh, that's right, yes. These um, Russian dolls. Russian dolls within dolls. You'll bring it back here with the receipt. Yes, he has See, civil, he civil, civil service mentalities. He wants the receipt. Yes. <laughs> they can get the money back on expenses. When did he decide to go all casual with his clothes? That he started off in a suit, didn't that he? That would look good on the, on the receipt, wouldn't it? Ten Russian women, <laughs> <laughs> one inside the other. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the video we were watching earlier, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, who's that? It's a big ginger soldier <laughs> <laughs> with huge sideburns. Yes, why, why did he start to go casual? You're, you're dead right. He's Bring her back here. he's got all swanky, isn't he? I think he? he wants to stop being a colonel and become an actor. I think that's what it's all about. <laughs> that's what I said earlier on, though. He wasn't a very... In that respect, it's not his fault, but colonels in those days didn't have long sideburns and long hair. Well, even so, I do think... Yeah, but he's a sort of intelligence uh, operative, isn't he? So. Our mm. agent in the souvenir not, shop... Not cut from the same special mould. Oh, he has an agent working in the souvenir shop. <laughs> Yeah. You trust her with a mission uh, like that. It's Nigel Pegram again, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unknown to the KGB. Did you give her any rubles? He's he sent her off to get a passport oh, has he? and everything. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's true. <laughs> it and looks to me like you're making this up <laughs> as you go along. <laughs> White sweater brigade again. <laughs> yes. Now, why has the Prime Minister swapped places? He was over the other side of the table. Because he went I, to the my, loo. It's my better side. <laughs> <laughs> if he looks across at me like that, it's my better side. Wax you with one of his ears. <laughs> What's wrong with the other side, Nick? Nothing. It's just I have a, a best side and a better side. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yes, see, true. That's, that's yeah. definitely my best That was great, actually, with the dark. Yeah. You know, definitely James Bond. Everything. James Bond. Notice Ooh. how carefully posed the hands are as well. Look. Mm. Mm. Killing even to save ourselves. It's breathtaking, it really is. Did you wear hairspray? No, it was quite natural. Was it? Mm -hmm. Who are you working for? <laughs> My intention no, is not to work so. for anyone. Yes. Uh, not it's working for anybody. We'd like to do our best mm. for the world as a whole. Yes. Are you from another planet? <laughs> Yeah, no, from Ealing. <laughs> no, we're human, born on Earth. Well, we do have contact with beings from other planets, and they do help us occasionally with advice. What a frightfully attractive man you were, are, Nicholas. The next stage of human evolution. <laughs> I don't say that to him. Uh, uh, <laughs> ah, you missed it. You See? Well, what did you say? See, we call ourselves the Tomorrow People. Uh, See, that well, line's a bit like, my name's Bond, James Bond. Yeah, yeah. You have to say, we are the, the Tomorrow, tomorrow People. people. <laughs> Your military thugs from persecuting these Tomorrow People. Mind you, maybe that's why he's got the white on, because when you put the, that sort of puke on... He has this puke on, and he fluffs it completely. <laughs> oh, let's listen. Superpowers, yeah, and they can do marvellous things, right. But not for war. They're the best hope the world has got for peace. 
I'm sorry, but uh, that's what I think. I could kill you, but they can't. Where does he fluff? He did earlier on. How did he? While, oh, we while, missed while, it. while I was oh, talking. Oh, what a shame. He's got oh. a strange ginger green hair. Mm. What's the Prime Minister doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose just, fair enough question, just really. popped in for a cup of tea, as you She doesn't seem that surprised. No. No. You What's the Prime Minister doing here? Ah, oh, yes, as you say, Peter, bad hair day, though. Mm. <laughs> just a nesting doll. He wanted some proof that I could jaunt to Moscow and back. He gave me 15 minutes for the trip. I've only got a few minutes to spend. Why did she need 15 minutes to get to Moscow? I thought well, it was instantaneous. Because she wanted to cheat and come back Yeah, here. but it's instantaneous. But she lied to him and said... Yes. Oh, did she, oh I see. It's a bug. Yeah. Oh. She I said she'd need 15 door. minutes for the coordinates or something. That's so a resistor. That's the smallest doll's got a transistor up her ass. Is that what it's all about? <laughs> That's what this whole story is about. Oh, oh my look at this. Oh, that, that's impressive. Mm. I like that. Mm. Now, why didn't we do that again? I like that for an effect. That's good. And how are you feeling about the balls at the moment? Well, I think when you see his balls and that thing dangling down like that in the middle, straight down to the it table. It puts it all into perspective. puts it in perspective, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Tim's been on Viagra as well, by the look of it. <laughs> I will be checking in on you about the balls from time to time. So, oh, he's going to analyse it now, is he? I bet he destroys it when he's analysing. Does it suddenly go poof? It may exist inside Russia. <laughs> Sorry? May I see it, please? Does it suddenly oh, explode? No, it doesn't. No. Yeah, dear it dreary. He needs stamps yeah. in it, probably. He, he actually misses it, but... <laughs> no, does he? <laughs> I, that's my personal theory. Can you imagine Tony Blair doing all this? With the hands ringing like that? I can imagine John Major, because he used to look watch this. Why has he destroyed that? Because that this country has no need of them. They quite are. right, Prime Minister, yeah, quite he's right. He's a decent fellow. Decent chap. Doesn't matter if the it's Russians have got it. Simply we not British it. using something so caddish. <laughs> 30 minutes, that's very good. Very good. No problems. But how come that you, Oops. Annie, didn't know that, that, that you could teleport with a blink of an eye? I don't know. Maybe you hadn't. <laughs> you hadn't still here. Yeah. <laughs> not only do you not know, but you don't appear to care. <laughs> I'm terribly fact, confused. You're getting slightly hysterical, aren't she, you? She was just... <laughs> don't interrupt her. She was just calling a cab, then. Why, <laughs> right, something wrong? It's a fake. Yeah. Uh, he's looked, he's, has he looked at the time on the receipt? <laughs> I thought that was him. <laughs> very good. Has he looked at the time on the receipt and seen that she's uh, actually been longer than she No, there's, there's no debris in it, is there? What, there's no nothing debris? there. Oh, of course, yeah. Prime Minister destroyed it. Corporal Belly. Corporal Belly? Oh. Tickle Stephen's feet. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get you. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I lied, didn't I? Now, come on, hand it over. What yeah. a British officer telling a lie. Come, come. <laughs> Wouldn't you be surprised if you knew? Oh, he's scared. be surprised oh, if any of us knew anything. Yes. <laughs> In ten seconds, I want you to switch off the life support. <gasps> mm. <laughs> that would be a very good time for the drums to start rolling and into the next episode. Is that what happens? No, no, because uh, I think... This is the last episode. What about the length of that guy's hair? Get you rear cat! No, this is the last oh, episode. Saved by the bell? Three. Yes. It's the, she's found a friend. Yes? Later! It's the telephone. You've got four choices. Oh, under strict orders to let them all go. Oh, that's the PM, is it? Mm. See? Not him personally, because he's got but minions. Yes, Prime that. Minister. Yes, of course, Prime Minister. Quite yes, right, Prime Minister. Yeah. Well, no, sir, but I... <laughs> no. But I love you. <laughs> have, you been, have you been torturing little boys? <laughs> oh, come on, get on yeah, with it. He's being told to report somewhere, is probably. Real overacting this. <laughs> Up in the gallery, they were saying, hold on, pause, yes, pause. It's under running again. <laughs> Drag it out. It's brought pressure to bear in high places. Ooh. Oops. Mm -hmm. And to let you go. Bear. Oh, oh. Mm. all that trouble. Big close-up. I know. <laughs> in every contest, there has to be a winner. And a loser. And a loser. Mm. And I'm sorry we didn't succeed with you. Someday you may come round to my way of thinking. Whatever that means. <laughs> Our democracy is threatened, and I believe it to be the duty of everyone. That's what it means. No, he's quite right. He's yes. quite right. But as a gentleman, he'll now go and shoot his brains out. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else does it in a so later story, actually, story. And, and, and no the, apparent reason. And the, and the Prime Minister will go and lie to Parliament. <laughs> Make sure Professor Corson is released as well. I'll bring a map. That makes it look like I've got funny eyebrows, doesn't it? <laughs> you have. It looks like Beelzebub. Beel <laughs> telepathic communication with Elizabeth. 
Looks as though your short stay with us is over. We'll soon have you back to your affairs of state. I'm very glad to have had this chance of meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> it's also believable, isn't yes, it? Really. Would, you, uh, would you like yeah. an autograph, photograph? I mean, I'm surprised you don't erase his memory or something. Which... That's true. Oh, we do. No, you don't. No, we don't. You just let uh, the No, it's mentioned in somewhere no, else that his memory is erased. He phones up in another story. He phones up to complain about your behaviour. Well, oh. yeah, but if you can't trust the prime minister, who can you trust? <laughs> you make an interesting point. Yes, that's to keep a secret. Look, look at. Look at those pectoral muscles. Oh, my word. Nothing's <laughs> changed there, I tell you now. <laughs> it's just gone inwards. Pe pectoral? I thought that was a, a dinosaur, wasn't it? <laughs> well, well, that's a pterodactyl. Oh, right. oh, right. It's all right, Tyson. It's all right. Tyson's tossing and turning again. Yes. The Prime and the uh, Professor's helping him to toss and turn. He'd break an art. How come he's got a dressing gown on? I thought he was in intensive care. Well, because otherwise Oops. he'd be touching his nipples. Oh, look at this. Just to get the girl fans interested, he's allowed to put his top on. Look at that. Pathetic. Belt up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. No! It's all right, Isaac. It's all right. Ooh. <laughs> Trust me. Trust yeah. me. Trust me, I'm a professor. <laughs> I'm oh, a friend of Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody put their hand on their belts. Uh. So what's going to happen to Annie? Does she come with us or not? Why not? Well, Do you need a belt? Hello. Where did you spring from? Well, I heard you were having a spot of bother, so I thought I'd come and give you a hand. I saw that I guess got back to where he belongs, using the matter trans portals, you said. Well done, Chris. Well, he just well dealt done, with well everything. Done. Yes, well done. You just let him deal with everything. I think he's a smug bugger. We've got to get rid of him. Please. Yeah, I think, he, yeah. <laughs> I think he deserves to be stuck in a soap for 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> Wash your mouth out with the water and a soap. <laughs> Coloured balls again, look, coloured Ball, tubes. Uh, blue, yes. balls. Yes. blue balls. Yeah. Blue balls. Must now be cold out there. It's interesting, because he's not directly over the table, so how did that oh, rod that we saw come down out of his balls a few moments ago hit the table they, in the middle? Uh, he must hover he's around. Moved. He's moved. Yeah. They've moved him for lighting yes. purposes, all haven't the, they? All the pod has moved. Quite complete. I've got to go back for it. I'd like to come with you, if I may. Good idea. <laughs> Why is it a <laughs> yes, good it idea? Is. I don't think it's a good idea at all. Oh, come on, you fumbling idiot. You are going to see something else, aren't you? Well, how come he got left behind then? And because nobody, he hasn't oh, broken oh, out yet. And nobody course. noticed. Well, and nobody let, cared. Let, oh look! <laughs> oh, you're having you're a bit breaking of trouble. out as well. <laughs> having a funny moment She's on the corner. She's breaking out all over. <laughs> yes. Professor, have you realised you're witnessing something unique? Tomorrow, <laughs> person. A boy writhing on a bed. No. Can we edit that out? <laughs> One that I found. One that I found. I knew he was a tomorrow person. Oh, all the Velcro ripping. Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What am I that dangling his around his belt now? That's a matter transporter, because no, his jaunting belt doesn't work. Oh, I see. You see... Tim, Come on, Tim. will you join the professor and Tizo back? Certainly, John. Oh, he's gone all muffled yeah, again. They, so yeah. now we know that was shot earlier on, don't we? Because yeah. it matches the soundtrack from the beginning. Hey. Those two go, but... Yeah. Now I comes the lecture. Right. Let me put a belt around you, darling. Oh, now here we are. This is, this is Come fly with me. Fly, this is like, you could be in this series. She says, no, I want to be in rooms <laughs> instead. <laughs> Goodbye. You, too, were a potential tomorrow person. <gasps> but unlike Taizo, unlike us, Ooh. you didn't follow it through. <laughs> but it's not too late. You just late. wanted to be in rooms. It's not too, <laughs> too late. late. Oh, yeah. oh, oh see, wow. du double oh, dramatic oh, effect. Well, well. <laughs> Is that the end of the story, you do you Repeat think? the line twice, that's always a good piece of acting, and then a slow <laughs> zoom into the face. You can make the crackiest actors look good when you do so, this. So, Anne, you know, is there anything you feel you want to say before you go? <laughs> Change <Changing with>, my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Hugh Morton, that's where it was. So I'll take that no, as a no, no. then. <laughs> <laughs> Some memories come flooding back. Where do I get my check? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I think you now realise, Annie, that your career took a wrong turn. <laughs> you should have come back into the Tomorrow People and ended up like Peter and I. <laughs> Haunted. <laughs> I won't describe the expression on Anne's face. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous. Mar